Hey, it's Chris here with a quick update on our apps. It's been about three weeks since we've launched the Daily Parent Affirmations app, and I'm pretty happy with the results so far. In terms of downloads, we're getting about four a day on average, and that sounds low, but I'm okay with it because I'm not looking at revenue or downloads as the signs of growth. I'm playing the long game here, and instead, I'm happy with the app because I see that the conversion rate has held up. I remember in the beginning when the app launched, I thought this was so high, because I was telling people to go and download it. But as you can see here, just via app store search is one third of the downloads and the conversion rate has held up. So I'm really happy to see that. To me, that means that through the product page and the screenshots, we are communicating the value of the app and people are seeing that. And second of all, I'm really happy to see that a third of the downloads are organically through search. These other ones are through our social media marketing or just me telling people to download it. So App Store Browse and App Store Search, you know, they make up about 50% close to it. So I'm really happy to see that. Also, we've been keeping up with our social media marketing for, and all the progress was really slow in the beginning. And we kind of had to go out on a limb and just keep doing it. I'm starting to see signs of life, which I'm really happy about. And I'm using this tool called Metricool because we're posting across all these different platforms. This tool allows us to, at a glance, see how things are going. Also, we are getting some ratings and reviews for the app, which is awesome to see. I'm sure that is helping with the keyword rankings. And believe it or not, for this app, we are getting some action on daily affirmations, which I feel is a very generic term, which I'm surprised that we're ranking for. That is a really positive sign. I wonder how that's going to play out. We're also getting really good feedback, which is what I wanted. I've been documenting things here in our Monday board. This is our project management board. So that leads me to us planning the next update, which is something that we're working on right here. So we do plan to release an update for this app, hopefully at the end of this month, if not early in September. And we're just going to continue improving it and continue marketing it and building the best parent affirmations that we can. So all of these positive signals that I've just talked about, I think those are the precursors to the revenue and the downloads. I think at this point, focusing too much on the revenue and downloads, at least personally for me, I think would get me demotivated. So instead I'm choosing to focus on these other things, which I have direct control over. As for all of our other apps, they've also been improving due to mainly keyword rankings because we have not released any app updates for them and we have not done any marketing for them as well. Slowly but surely, they've been improving in their keyword rankings, ranking for more keywords, improving in their existing keyword rankings as well, uh, all of which results in more impressions and more downloads. So I think if I do put a little bit of work into these apps, the rankings will improve even more. But more importantly though, seeing this progress, especially for apps that we haven't touched at all, we just launched it and left it as is, it really boosts my confidence for this low competition keyword strategy. And that's only something that I started about maybe three months ago. You just have to make up for it in the volume of apps. But with AI, it's totally possible to build these small apps really quickly. You want to learn how to do keyword research and find your own low competition keywords so you can build apps off of them. Check out this video. I'll link to it in the description below. It's called how to find profitable app store keywords. You can search for that on my channel. And recently I released a series on building apps with AI using cursor and just using these two sets of resources, you have everything you need to replicate what I've done here. You can, even if you don't know how to code, you can build all of these apps, which I think is really cool because that means there are no barriers in your way. And all you need to do is make sure you put in that effort and time. Personally, I ought to build more apps to capitalize on this strategy. But before I do that, I think I'm going to take a careful look at our existing apps and see how I can improve them and monetize them. Even that, if I'm being honest with myself, I don't have much time. I'm working on so many things behind the scenes. And actually, that leads me to the next thing. I want to give you a sneak peek at what's coming. My recent video series about building apps with AI is an effort to meet people where they are today. The reality is that lots of people still want to build apps, but they don't want to learn how to code 
Actually, it's been like that for a long time. However, there are still people who want to learn how to code, but even that's changed. With all of the AI study aids and learning tools that are available now, the journey of learning to code has become easier as well. So I'm also revamping my Learn to Code Beginner series to incorporate the use of these AI study tools so that I can show people the best possible way to learn how to code efficiently. And then the third thing is that AI app builders that have been around for a long time, they've also improved a lot, probably because of AI as well. So that seems to be a viable option to me as well. Long story short, I wanna help people realize their app ideas, whether that is using AI tools, whether that is learning to code, or whether that is using app builders. I think the best way to accomplish your goal is to use the means that are best suited to you and your situation. Before, I actually had to turn away a lot of people because coding just wasn't the right fit for them, whether they were too busy or it was too technical and difficult. A lot of people had full-time jobs and learning to code was just another thing that was too much. There were just a lot of people that I couldn't help. And I think that's changed now with all of those different techniques that I mentioned. And I'm actually really excited to be covering a broader set of topics. I haven't felt this way in a while. Now, the other big news I have is the upcoming new Code with Chris community. My plan is to revamp our current community and make it bigger and better. I'm going to be doing live workshops and boot camps in there. And it also includes access to all of my courses. This is a temporary landing page just to capture interest in this upcoming community. You can enter in your email address and I'll give you a heads up when it is launched hopefully in September. Now this doesn't add you to any email list or anything like that. It's only to get notified for this community. And just ignore the headline because I used this landing page at the end of the how to build an app with AI video series. I hope this is something that interests you and I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Lots of exciting things ahead and I'll see you in the next video.